You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. This is the Daniel Monday Night Community Show on demand through YouTube. Thank you very much for choosing to listen to us through this method. If you'd like to keep up to date with when I add new interviews, then subscribe to this channel. We're now going to be talking on the telephone about the future of financial technology. Firstly, thank you very much for joining us. Would you just be able to introduce yourself to our listeners first and tell them a little bit about yourself? Sure. Uh, So my name is James Smith and I'm the Director of Mobile and Digital at Nationwide Building Society. Now, um, what do people in our area uh, think the future of financial tech actually has to offer? Sure. So I guess if I give a bit of context, so we conducted some research recently just to understand, right across the UK, just to understand people's engagement with this subject. What do they understand? What are they worried about? In terms of the Isle of Sheppey and surrounding areas, some really interesting stats, actually. So 45% of people think that iris technology will add security to their online banking. Um, and 33% believe that financial technology will better enable them to manage their money um, going forward, which I think is really interesting, both in terms of the, the, the extent to which people are really willing to engage in this and also the extent to which people have an opinion as well. Um, how does um, banking sort of developed in the past 20 years? I imagine it's quite a bit. Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's it's really interesting when you when you look back. So this year um, marks the 20th anniversary of Nationwide's first internet banking application. And we were the one of the first organisations in the UK to have an internet bank. And it's really interesting. If you look back now, and I've got some screenshots of the original application, it looks so basic. It looks, well, it looks like an application from 1997. Um, but at its time, it was really cutting-edge stuff. And and think back prior to that, if you wanted to make a payment to somebody else, that would involve you going into a bank or phoning up a call centre. If you wanted to check your balance, that would involve you either going to an ATM or waiting for your monthly statement to arrive. And and all of that changed when instant banking came along. And then since then, the pace of change has just been massive. First of all, through through internet banking and and you know the adoption of broadband, so people could get access to things more fast and more quickly. And then, then 2007, the world changed again. Then, when the iPhone came along, and then all of the derivations to Android. And I think, I think that that that's the pattern really of the last few years has been increasing change at an increasing rate. And and that's really what fintech is all about. And fintech is a is a description of all of those bits and pieces of technology that have come together to create more rich and engaging ways of people to manage their money. I was going to say, I imagine it's one of those things that we all just use that technology now and we don't actually sort of appreciate or realise how much easier it's become until you sort of look back to how more difficult it probably would have been to do some of the things we take for granted now. Yeah, I agree. I, I think it's, yeah, in some respects, that's a that's a good thing. Technology shouldn't be, a, yeah, people shouldn't need to worry about what it is that sits behind it. What it's all about is about providing people with, with choice um, that allows them to manage their money, but in a in a safe and secure way. Uh, and uh, I think that's really what you know, what the last twenty years has been all about is about creating those additional ways of of giving people that choice. So, what do you think the future holds for consumers in financial tech? Well, I mean, I think that 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 change that I talked about is only going to continue to evolve you know, as as handsets get smarter. As networks, so you know we've got 4G now, 5G will be along in a, in a couple of years. So as the general infrastructure gets better, the our ability to create more and more interesting services will will increase. So I think that um, we touched on on security a bit already, but the use of um, biometrics, so so whether it be eye or voice or behavioural, to add security, I think will become a real feature. I think the other big feature is going to be the extent to which uh, banks and building societies can use data to enrich their customers' lives. So by aggregating data from lots of different sources and then analysing it, we can then create insights that then customers can use to, to help manage their manage their money. So at, at a really practical level, understanding the extent to which they have got money left at the end of the month, where should they save to get the best rate, um, you know, what, what, I guess it just make them allow them to make really informed decisions when they're managing their money. 
Now I understand that some research has shown that people are nervous about the sort of advancements in technology and there could be a loss of um, that human sort of interface and um, interaction in local branches. Do you think that's something that's going to happen? Yeah, so that's certainly not the, the nationwide strategy. So we have um, we've publicly committed to spending £500 million on our branch network over the, five years, over the next five years. And, and for us, that's recognition of the fact that we don't see these as being either or. It's not either branch or, or digital, it's both. And we really see these things working in tandem. So if a customer wants to engage with us using app or internet banking, that's absolutely fine. If customers want to engage with us using the branch network, that's similarly absolutely fine. But oftentimes we'll see people wanting to use both or, in fact, a blend of the two. So I could easily imagine a world in, in a couple of years' time where I can open up an app, I can have a you know, a WhatsApp-style chat or a, a Skype-style video with my local branch. And so it's kind of blending both digital and physical. That's quite good to uh, to hear. And actually thinking about it, when you do go in a nationwide building site, lots of people are still using the tills. But equally, I know there are some building sites I've been in where there's one person on the till, the rest are closed, and there's a person standing there trying to convince you to use the machines or take out a card and uh, sometimes I think you know that you know people do want to still use things the old-fashioned way so it's, it's good to hear that you see you know a future for both yeah exactly so um, we're in this sort of um, financial um, tech fortnight and um, what does this mean for customers and businesses okay so um, fintech fortnight is is really it's a recognition of of trying to get awareness of this whole topic up. Um, whether you're a, a bank or a building society or a, a shop, a merchant, or even in customers, um, technology is, is fundamentally changing how money moves and how people engage with money. Um, you know, no one is immune from this. And whether it's a, a threat or an opportunity, uh, certainly banks and building societies and merchants need to have a strategy so they can harness the power of this. And FinTech and Fortnite is, is the first one. But it's really here to to raise the big issues, make sure that people are aware of the of the benefits. Uh, but it's also to celebrate as well, because um, the UK is is the world's leading fintech center. We've got some fantastic innovators out there, really pushing the bounds of what's possible using the technology and bringing that to market. So it's there to recognise and celebrate those guys, and make sure that we continue to uh, keep the UK in the number one spot from a fintech standpoint. So where can our listeners go to find out a little bit more information? Sure. So if you go to, uh, to nationwide.co.uk, you can find out more about what Nationwide is up to. Uh, or you can go to fintechfortnight.co.uk to find out more about Fintech Fortnight itself. Well, if you're happy we've covered everything, I'd like to thank you very much for taking the time out to talk to our listeners here at BRFM Bridge Radio. It's an absolute pleasure. Thank you. That's great. Thanks for that.